for whom are you going to vote? Two sides in evangelical Christianity regarding the presidential election. Dr. Wayne Grudem apparently leading the charge that says you got to vote for the lesser of two evils. He concludes that's the Don. On the other hand, you've got Dr. John Mark Reynolds, who is an orthodox, meaning maybe Eastern Orthodox, evangelical, brilliant fellow stating, no, you vote for the Don, and that is an evil deed. Here is his argument. We must vote for flawed men but not for men who glory in their flaws. That is his position. You can't do it. You can't vote for a guy who goes on the Howard Stern program and degrades and dehumanizes women. You just can't do it, claims John Mark Reynolds. Trump has a long history of racist activity, beginning with fronting for his openly racist father, Fred. Uh, some people state, no, he, he's not. He's just the border thing, jobs. John Mark Reynolds, no, he's racist. More from the good doctor. Trump has been through four corporate bankruptcies and escaped personal bankruptcy only with family help. He lies about his net worth. He lies about his education. He lies about his companies. And the extension of that thought is, and he's lying to you. John Mark Reynolds stating, do not trust the man. Sure, he's saying some things that are tickling evangelical ears, but that's all he's doing because he's a liar and his father is the father of lies. Uh, John Mark Reynolds writes, Grudem ignores Trump calling Mexican immigrants rapists, calling for the ban on all Islamic persons to the U.S., and repetitively retweeting the worst anti-Semites and racists on social media. Grudem ignores Trump's frequent use of illegals on construction sites and hawking for more immigrants on other projects. The thrust of most of this, as I boil down the John Mark Reynolds argument, is this guy is bad, he's bad, he makes Michael Jackson look not bad. He's totally corrupt. He's unreliable. He is not trustworthy. And he says things that are very dangerous. Don't vote for him, says John Mark Reynolds. Trump is one of the few presidential candidates to induce an international crisis through his reckless and ignorant rhetoric on NATO. Uh, Trump is dangerous. Again, I think this fits underneath the category of he just doesn't have any sort of moral gumption. He has no fortitude toward things that are good. He is too dangerous. I do not want a perfect candidate, but I will not vote for a man who bought and owns a strip club. This is not a high standard. So far, every nominee of a major party but one could pass that standard. I will not explain to my daughters why the objectification of women for profit was good. And there you have two sides, two scholars debating for whom you should vote.